<laughs> How the devil are you? Now, I just wanted to do a follow-up on the on Dak Gate. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, I've had some comments on my last video about the Iran's Dak change in their CD players and amplifiers, and uh, I just wanted to follow up today with it. Uh, so, I've had some comments saying, well, that the Dac is as good or even better than the AK, the, DAC, the ESS DAC is better than the AK-4490. Um, well, on paper it isn't. Uh, the specs on the AK-4490 uh, are better than the ESS DAC. Although, would you notice if through the sound, I suppose that is subjective. But here's the thing. So if you're like me and you're buying a new piece of audio equipment, you do your research, you look up and you look on, you look online and you look at reviews and you look at whatever, look at the specs and you go, oh, it's got an AK-4490 DAC, hmm, let's have, let me have a look at the specs on that. Oh, it's got a very, very good reviews. What does it sound like? What's the sound signature like? Oh, okay, ah, I'm gonna buy that CD player on the strength of that DAC. And then you get your CD player and that DAC isn't in it, even though all the advertising and all the websites say it is. It's a bit like me going to BMW and giving BMW a call. Um, hello, is that BMW? Yeah, I'd like a, a red BMW, please, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna deliver it? Thank you very much. Okay, tomorrow comes and they deliver a blue Audi. So I'm like, what the? How dare, what, I'm, what? A BMW, I'm fuming. You've just delivered a blue Audi. And they go, oh yeah, but it's the same. It's just as good. No, I didn't want, I don't care if it's just as good. I don't care if it's better. I wanted a red BMW, not a blue Audi. Come on. Okay. Anyway, so I did a little bit of further digging and I did find a press release. Now I happened to come across a forum and in the comment thread of this forum, all the way down was a link to a press release that can only be found on the Marantz Japan website, uh, which was in Japanese and I had to get and had to translate it to English, which states um, that due to the fire at the semiconductor manufacturing plant on October 20th, 2020, that some of their semiconductor parts, including DA converters, uh, they've, they've got a shortage. Uh, so they're using parts inventory that we already had and parts new, newly procured. So it says the DA converter is a component that has particularly large impact on the sound quality of the product. So that blah, 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 we will continue to do our best. And it says at the bottom, products subject to DA converter chain, CD player 6007, integrated amplifier PM 7000N and PM 6007 AV amplifiers SR, blah, 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 blah. So there is a press release saying this, uh, and which is fine, but it's very hard to find. If you go on, like I said in my last video, you go on the Marantz website, there's nowhere on there which states this this is happening. When I bought my amp, nothing was mentioned on there at all. And, and, and you think a large company would be transparent. And here's the thing, if that DAC is as good, if the new DAC, the ESS DAC, is good as the AK DAC, then why don't they say, you know, they'd be singing and dancing about it. We've put a better DAC in for you, haven't we? Look at what we've done. It's just as good. They would, you know, say it was better, but no, why are they being so cagey? Why are they being so shady? It's, to me, it's all a bit suspect. And here's the thing. Uh, if you've got, uh, say a company, uh, for instance, Reebok, they make a T-shirt, okay? And the T-shirt is 100% cotton and it's labeled 100% cotton. Now, the manufacturer of Reebok decide, oh, we're gonna make it now a polyester cotton blend. Uh, don't have to tell anybody we're gonna manufacture it, right? They can't leave 100% cotton labels on that T-shirt. They have to change the labels from 100% cotton to polyester cotton blend. They can't use the same label. So if you look on the info sheet, Right at the bottom, it says, design and specifications are subject to change by Marantz without notice. Uh, which is fine, okay, they don't have to give you notice that it's changing, but they can't continue labelling it the same. The same as Reebok doesn't have to give anyone notice that they're changing the blend of fabric in their t-shirt, 
but they can't put the same labels on it, which Morants have been doing. So that that is false advertising as far as I'm concerned. You, They need to be transparent on their web pages. You know, like I said before, you're reading these uh, hi-fi reviews and on there it says, oh, the DAC this, the DAC that, you know, this, the AK DAC. And you're like, oh, okay, that's the one I want. So they need to be telling their retailers, just put this, just put this little message up that it could be subject to changing the DAC. So it gives us the choice. So whether that DAC is as good or better, I didn't choose that DAC. And I wasn't given the option not to, okay? It's out of order. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts. If I get any more updates, and I make, Rant still hasn't got back to me yet, uh, whether they will or not, I'll just ignore my email, I don't know. But if they do, I will be sure to let you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, I'll catch you in the next video.